Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be comparing two different lever harps. First up, we've got the Fisher Erin 34 string, and then we've got the Killarney Muckross 37 strings. Now, these are both absolutely beautiful harps. I play them both regularly. I record with them. I perform with them. I, I adore them both. But I thought it'd be really interesting to give you a comparison of them, just in case you were thinking of purchasing either model. I've put a link below to the harp makers where you can find out a little bit more about the harps themselves. In this video, we're going to look at a couple of different things. We're going to look at the height and the weight of each of the harps. We're going to look at the string spacing, and then I'll play on both of them so you can hear the difference in tone that they have. So first up, the height and weight. Now, these harps are actually almost identical in height. They're both around about 127 to 128 centimetres. With both harps, there is the option of having legs added so you could adjust the height of them if you wanted, but I just have them on the basic legs that they come with. Now, the weights are quite different. The weight of my Fisher harp is about seven and a half kilos, whereas the weight of the Killarney is about 9.4 kilos. Now, you've got to remember though, these are not both 34 strings. One is 34 string, whereas the Killarney is 37 string. So there is just that slight difference, but that's the difference in weight there. And then with regards to the string spacing, on the Fisher harp, I measured from the lowest C all the way up to the highest C, kind of from the midpoint of each string. And that weighed in at about 17 inches in total. And on the Killarney harp, I did exactly the same. And that was about 18 inches in total. So it's not a huge difference, one inch between them over that entire span. I find it very easy to interchange between the harps with no problem. So, you know, it's really, it is a subtle difference overall, but it might be something that you want to take into account if you've got either very small hands or very large hands, just that the Aaron is a little bit smaller in the spacing.
So I hope you enjoyed that comparison and found it useful. As I say, I absolutely love playing both harps and I think they both have their real strengths to them as instruments, but it's always good to hear them kind of side by side. They were recorded in exactly the same way, exactly the same mics, exactly the same setup. So what you're hearing is just straight off the floor with no processing at all. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again soon.